Oh, what is it? Bad news travels a lot faster than good news. Ed Asner passed away. He was one of my best friends in showbiz. I loved him. I used to talk to him all the time. And he uh, was uh, a little bit more uh, of a politician than I am. <laughs> Boy, did he tell you how he thought, you know. Uh, although he was Lou Grant, which not that's a job. You know, it's an acting job. And Mary Tyler Moore, those are, he's a great actor, you know. And he did the Scopes trial. I've seen him do that off Broadway. Uh, he's wonderful with everything he's done. I followed him around off the air, but I also had a, a couple of things with him uh, that I should mention. We had a two hour special on his 50th anniversary in show business, he and his wife. And we sat there and talked for a couple of hours. Can you imagine? About everything. And I put it on the internet. And in those days, I wasn't on the radio anymore. Uh, we, were, we were just shifting over to the internet. So that's a two hour show uh, with Ed, just Ed and his wife and me and a couple other people that came into the picture, but not too many. It was a pretty, uh, pretty good, I mean, you get to know a lot about a guy when you're spending a couple hours with him and a camera's in his face and then you start forgetting the camera and you start talking. That's what happens, you know, when you're at a living. But he was a, he was a star of this comedy thing for a long time with Betty White. And then I'll tell you something else he did that was great. He was the voice of Up, which is uh, what we're seeing with the figures of COVID. He did not die of COVID, incidentally. So, uh, you know, Up was a cartoon, animation, and he looks like the character. And I says, that looks like you. They model a character after you. He said, no, no, that's Martin Scorsese. They, they did it after him. It was not, not me, although it wasn't his film. I says, oh, not Martin Scorsese's film. No, 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 no. I said, okay. So Ed, Ed and I talk all the time about everything, and we made a lot of fun with each other all the time about politics. Uh, I did a making of a Marine along with my friend Art Vola. We did a documentary, shot it at Paris Island. Took a long time to put all of these pieces together, so we needed a good narrator. We met with Ed at the marina in, in uh, L.A. And I says, hey, Ed, uh, we'd like you to narrate this film. He says, I'm not going to narrate a film about the Marines. I don't want to do anything that's going to make Bush look good. Nothing. So we're eating lunch, and we, pre we got to the dessert part. And Art says, so does this mean you don't want to do the documentary? And <laughs> Ed reached for the fork and says, I'm going to put this in your arm. Don't you listen to me? I'm not going to do this thing. <laughs> So then we asked Imus and found out that Imus wasn't a great Marine. He was dismissed from the Marines or he left the Marines. But I wanted him to do the thing because I thought, well, you know, he got a nice voice for it. We wound up not having any voice at all. I want to tell you something else about that. I think his best, he said his best acting job was being my friend. I think his best acting job was Roots, where we are now celebrating inclusion. And he was a slave master in Roots, which was a breakthrough Emmy Award winning first miniseries on television, on ABC television years ago. And Ed was one of the stars of it, you know, he was great. Alex Haley, isn't that who wrote Roots? Yeah. Uh, and, and he was on that thing famously, but Ed was mean. He was a slave driver. And he's the opposite of what he's like. He was, a, he's a gentle guy, you know, and a real believer in inclusion. When he was the president of SAG, he left uh, openings for lots of people like who are ethnic <coughs> and of color. And he pushed for them. You know, he says, hey, wait a minute, you know, let's open this up to everybody. Well, that's the way they think when they're from Chicago. You can't take the Chicago out of the guy. But I'll tell you something about Ed. He played God in, in a, a, a play. You know, he went around the country with it. And I think now he's going to meet. I, I wonder if God's going to ask him a few questions now. <laughs> I'm laughing because I think he's, he was just remarkable. And, I, and I'm so happy that I knew him and know him and happy that I got to celebrate him. And Ed Asner, I'm not going to say rest in peace because you're not. You're going to just bother the hell out of heaven. <laughs> it's a Reynolds wrap.